According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, more than 75% of the population or more than 24 million people are living in urban areas in 2020. What impact does this have on the country's development? Dr. Nur Hashim Hashim Lim, an urban and regional planning expert, explains. Uh, in our country, we have a three-tier government punya system where at the national level, uh, I, I mean at the federal level, kita the national physical plan. And in that national physical plan, they have identified locations that are going to be like the major conurbation, which is Kuala Lumpur, and then followed by a second support, second layer of supportive conurbation, which is Johor Bahru, Georgetown, Pulau Pinang, uh, Ipoh, and then there's also another layer of conurbation. Uh, wait, uh, Kuantan Pahang is also uh, at the second tier, and then the third tier, you see Kelantan. 90% of Kelantan is flood prone area. How are you going to? I mean, it's not good for that But uh, it is uh, not not really attractive lah for foreign direct investment to invest there and open up companies there because they will be afraid of the risk of flooding. Ah, uh, so uh, economic economically maybe uh, the the at national level they have identified certain sectors that are suitable to be. Uh, to have a potential growth there. Kita buat planning towards the location. Kita, kita tengok the potency boleh atau tidak. We also need to look at the cost and benefit of the area itself lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Semua so, berbual suka kat satu tempat. Okay, number one, uh, it is uh, the urban heat island. Okay, everybody is feeling the heat rather than urban areas. And then uh, the sharing, the overcrowding, the sharing of public facilities. Everybody will come to urban areas and share and put their burden on our public facilities, utilities, amenities and infrastructure. And then rural areas is jadi kosong, dia tak boleh nak membangun disebabkan tak cukup populasi. Sebab in planning, when we want to plan something, it is always according to, I mean, population is the main concern. Ah, uh, you, you nak letak satu balai polis pun, dia tengok populasi, dia tengok demand tu. You nak, tengok, you nak letak klinik pun, dia kira guna populasi when the rural areas dah jadi tak ada able-bodied people who wants to work so no matter what you plan there economy sector apa-apa nak buat agriculture ke nak buat industrial ke nak buat innovative biotechnology industrial park kat situ ke kalau tak ada workforce kat situ the youngsters don't want to stay there and work there habislah tempat tu bila the demand uh, ramai orang masuk kan lepas tu apa-apa uh, diberapa rasa macam oh, ramai ramai orang boleh kan so they drive up the price, but that is only one factor, okay, that is not the only factor. Uh, housing, public facilities, and also I think the quality of life lah, makin rendahkan. It's also like environmental, due to environmental issues, uh, the air pollution, noise pollution, it affects our mental health, it affects our physical health, uh, it, it, it can also affect our, our uh, access to nutrition, 